Hello guys welcome back to men's dream lifestyle. One thing needs to be made clear here and painfully so, it's statistically unlikely you need to increase your testosterone and to do so unnaturally could be devastating to your health. That said, maintaining healthy levels is, as government bodies are so want to tell you about almost every aspect of health, predominantly a case of living sensibly. Guys if you new here, here men's fashion, fitness, health, trending style, hair care, skin care, lifestyle tips and love tips. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our family. What does a healthy lifestyle actually mean in terms of testosterone? It's perhaps best summed up by a recent study by Australian scientists. This was a big study, says Dr. Jayasena. It graded men according to their lifestyle. The better they did, the less chance they had of testosterone deficiency. Never having salt was worth a point. As was regularly eating oily fish, doing moderate exercise, having a healthy BMI and not smoking or drinking. All sensible stuff. Drugs, medicinal and otherwise, can wreak havoc inside your body. Painkillers can interfere with neurotransmitters and the pituitary gland, which controls hormones, says Professor Hackett. Recreational drugs, like cannabis, LSD and cocaine, drugs that alter your brain chemistry, will affect some fairly critical neurotransmitters as well. Unless you're being prescribed something you need, don't do drugs, kids. Conversely, certain anti-inflammatory and anti-anxiety supplements, which have a positive effect on neurotransmitters, can help keep things more balanced. Fish oil and vitamin D supplements have been found to have the most efficacy. Remember, this is about prevention. It's not just obesity but also the hidden, visceral fat, the stuff around your organs, that can cause a dip in T levels. At Imperial College, we're looking closely at the effects of targeted weight loss for men with fertility problems, says Dr. Jayasena. Obesity is the big enemy but visceral fat is as well. 5-10% to weight loss could be enough to turn this around. Men need to help themselves as much as look to doctors. You heard the man, get on your bike. When it comes to testosterone, food is fuel. All hormones rely upon processing for manufacturers. That means you have to have the raw materials for them and the cofactors that make them, says nutrition consultant and the author of the Dodo Diet, Drew Price. Fats are often highlighted as necessary for tea production, but in reality most people eat more than enough. Evidence suggests that low intakes of carbs can also impair production as well as the downstream processing and utilization of tea but one factor that really inhibits hormone function is insufficient calories. In other words, eat like a man. Going teetotal will help ensure you stay teetotal. But even just being sensible with your alcohol consumption will be beneficial. Booze is obviously a tea killer, says Price. Interestingly, it will raise hormones associated with tea production in the short term but run down total production in the long run. It also reduces sleep quality, a deficiency of which is a one-two punch resulting in less muscle, less virility and more fat. A parting tip, stock up on chilies. There's some evidence that suggests spicy foods may increase testosterone. But it also might just be the case that guys with higher testosterone levels prefer spicy foods, says Price. It's not entirely clear. Even so, there's no harm in adding some heat to your diet, even on the smallest off chance it might spice things up in the bedroom in the long term. Guys make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our family. Thank you guys.